What's going on? It's Coach Williams, and I'm back for another breakdown. So today, we are going to talk Sidney Brown out of Illinois safety, another one of the safeties that we're going to talk about. So he really impressed at the combine, ran a 4-4, jumped out the roof, crazy athleticism. So we're just going to jump right into this thing. All right, so we got him right here in the middle of the screen. And so this run play, he sees it. And one of the things that shows up a lot on film is you cannot block this guy with a wide receiver. Look at what he does. He squeezes the wide receiver down into the line of scrimmage, into the offensive lineman, and throws this guy into the ground and gets in on the tackle. And we'll get a nice good view of it from the tight angle here, right? So he fills his gap. He gets in there, gets hands on this receiver and squeezes, right? I really love it when, when guys do this, right? They squeeze and compress all the gaps, right? There's no daylight, there's no space, and he's doing his part of squeezing this thing down and knocking. Look at how he's knocking this tight end into the back, right? He's got two guys knocking him into the ball carrier. He's a very physical, physical dude, so it's going to be hard to be able to block him with a wide receiver, all right? So on this play, I just wanted to show you this from the uh, from the tight angle here. And so he's covering this tight end right here. And so we didn't get to see his numbers at the combine for the agility stuff. So no short shuttle, no three cone, but I just wanted to show you this rep. I think that his three cone and his short shuttle would probably be pretty good because this kind of translates to that, to that kind of a drill here, right? Because we get this in breaking route from the tight end and then he whips back outside and look at how he drops his hips changes directions here right and then he realizes that the quarterback still has the ball he's trying to escape the pocket because of the pressure then he redirects here right and gets back in so that's a nice little uh you know you know uh simulation of that drill very good very fluid movement right so i definitely think that he has pretty good agility all right so now we're gonna get another tight shot of another play and this is gonna show off his physicality i think he's a very physical guy in coverage right I, I think in the nfl he'll be able to cover tight ends you know drop down into the box and be physical with these guys this tight end is trying to release up the field he gets two hands on him and then rides him up the field stays on top and then almost gets in here and makes an interception here does a really good job of being physical with that tight end, all right? So now, this one, they have a lot of trust and a lot of faith in these DBs, man, because on this play, they're running this cap blitz. I believe this is Witherspoon down here coming off the edge, and this just shows you, this kind of translates to his range as a, as a split safety because the corner is coming off the edge in this cap blitz, and he's got to be able to get over the top of the number one receiver into the boundary, and so... He does a good job of seeing it, disguising it. They both do a good job of disguising it. And then he goes to get over the top and he's seeking and searching on the quarterback because this also shows, like you'll see his eyes here. Look back at the quarterback. See how he peeks back at the quarterback? It shows you that he has a very firm understanding of what is going on conceptually here. So if the corner is blitzing off the edge, the quarterback's hot read is probably gonna be this receiver. So I think he was peeking back here to see, to confirm that. So he gets in position to, to ensure that this guy's not gonna run a fade. He sits down, he drives it, right? And we get to see that explosion. I believe he had like a, a one five split on his, on his uh, four yard dash, you know, jump through the roof, like I said, right? Very explosive player, gets down here, gets downhill, gets into the receiver and jars the ball free. So that's a really good rep right there. And so again, going going back to the, to the first play that we talked about, not a very good idea to try to block this guy with a receiver, right? Gets in here, gets hands on this dude, and again, drives him into the pile and gets in on the play. And we'll get a nice good view of it from the tight angle here. He squeezes this thing down, gets, look at the hands, the hand usage, right? The hand placement, it's right inside on the breastplate, 
So he has full control of this guy and then drives him down into the play. Love the physicality there. So, going to show you another game. A little, uh, little, little uh, bonus footage here, okay? So, Michigan State. This is the first play, first defensive play of the Michigan State game. So, three by one, he's got number three. The hardest thing that you're ever going to have to do as a safety is the three by one formation. You've got number three and three gets the outbreaking route when you've got inside leverage, but he uses trail technique, stays on the receiver's hip, can feel that he's not going to get upfield, so he doesn't start sprinting and getting out of position, stays on the hip, gets hands on, and when he can feel him and he's in phase, looks back for the football, interception. First defensive play of the game. Like, this dude is a baller. So, next one here. All right, they're down here on the goal line, right? I like to call this the black zone, right? This area from the 10-yard line in on defense, I call this the black zone. And so this one, I love the recognition here. So I don't know. Obviously, I'm not in their playbook, but I don't think this is a blitz. I think that they just have a really good feel for what's going on here. I think that he's reading this end man on the line of scrimmage here, and he can just feel immediately. He sees that down block and gets downhill. And the reason why I think that, you know, I could be totally out of my element here um, because, you know, we got a corner over the top here. But the reason why I think that is look at this safety up top. They're on a string. They're both moving at the exact same time. One of the things that we talked about with Witherspoon is his instincts for what's going on at the line of scrimmage are really good. So, you know, their DB coach must be a phenomenal dude because all of these dudes have great instincts right they have a really good feel for what's going on so he gets in here and he just totally blows this play up right off the bat so it could be a blitz but um you know both guys were moving on a string there at the exact same time and we'll be able to see it nice from the tight here his eyes his vision he can see this he's squeezing this thing down beats the receiver to the spot blows the running back up it's a great job So, all right, so we talked about his physicality and how, you know, it, it's not a smart idea to block him with receivers, and I think that he's really physical in coverage, but this does show up a little bit, right, that the physicality in the run game with H's and tight ends is not always there. So, on this play here, the tight end comes out to set the edge, and he just totally pancakes him. He goes flying. Doesn't, doesn't apply any resistance. Immediately, once he gets hands on him, he gets rolled up. But one thing that I really like about this play is he gets knocked on the ground. And me, personally, I go up against a decent amount of uh, triple option teams when I'm coaching. So one of the things that we always coach guys is you get cut, get back up, right? So you get knocked down, get back up. He gets up, immediately gets in on the play, and is the guy that ends up making the tackle. So you definitely want to see stuff like that on film. It shows effort. It shows want to. It shows motor. And this dude, Sidney Brown, never stops. So we can see this here. H gets in here and totally pancakes him, but he gets up and makes the tackle. It's a great job to stay in on the play. All right, so more of that. We're, we're going to see him at the top of the screen here. And so this looks like an RPO to me. They decide to go screen. They throw it out here. He tears off of this block. Now he's trying to meet this block to set the edge, and bam, offers no resistance, gets totally knocked down. I think that, uh, you know, with the physical H's, fullbacks, tight ends, and stuff like that, blocking, it's uh, getting off of blocks and stuff like that, it's going to be a little, a little rough for him. I like him a little bit more in coverage. I like him running the alley, making tackles. But, you know, with bigger guys like this, I, I've seen this a little bit, him get, get thrown around. So I believe this is the last play here. One thing that I really like about him, and this is something that I focus on a lot with safeties, we're gonna talk about this with some of the other safeties that we're gonna profile, is eyes, right? Eyes. Do your eyes take you to the play? And that's one thing with him, especially in the run game that shows up a ton here. So when you're in the, he's essentially playing linebacker here, right? So he's he's playing this uh, this this linebacker spot, inside linebacker. And so his read when you're an inside linebacker is usually going to be the guards, right? The guards are going to take you to the ball. If they, you know, zone block, you know that the ball is coming this way, right? If they pull, you know the ball is going that way, right? So we want to match these guards when we're playing linebacker. 
but the guard blocks out and then the tackle is the one that ends up folding inside, right? So the tackle folds inside and his eyes are reading that, right? So he's he has the vision and the eyes to be able to see that, yes, this is getting blocked out, but the tackle is folding inside. So he gets inside and blows up this run play. That's a really good job of using his eyes. So we'll get a nice view of it here from the tight. He's inside. Reads that tackle. You can see his eyes reading the tackle. Takes him right to the play. And although he doesn't make the tackle, he's holding on, right? Helping, pulling that guy down. So, Sidney Brown, really like this cat. I think he's a really good safety. He's one of the better safeties in the draft. This is a down year for safeties. So, you're going to want to try to snatch this guy off the board quickly. So, that's it for this breakdown. And in the next video, we're going to talk about more DBs from the NFL draft. So you're going to want to come back for more breakdowns. So as always, you know what it is. It's Coach Williams, Ballhawks. We fly. I'm out. Peace.